little ballerina. It's Charlie, your fourth and final child, right? Isn't that dress adorable? I bought it for our first ballet class, which you are taking her to because I have to work tomorrow. But honey, I'm supposed to. I'd be happy to. And I need you to videotape it because I don't want to miss a thing. But the camera, it... I'd be happy to. Ballet, what a stupid thing to do. Actually, your father took ballet in high school. <sighs> Great. Another image to keep me up at night. Actually, our football coach thought that taking ballet would help our agility and balance. Either that or he's just really messing with us. You should have seen your dad in his tights. He looks hot. Yeah, the whole idea of hot must have been different in the olden days. <laughs> made a mistake <laughs> so this is where you'd be laughing <laughs> anyways um see this answer here you marked it wrong it is wrong but the correct answer is b yes but you did not completely shade in the oval next to the b so it is wrong <laughs> you're kidding right miss duncan i haven't kidded since i've never kidded <laughs> to know. Um, so you're gonna, you're gonna change my grade, right? No, I'm not. But that's not fair. This is me. Completely shading in the oval next to, I don't care. <laughs> there she is. Happy one week anniversary. Oh, BJ, you remember. And they said it wouldn't last. They did? Who are they? <laughs> No, it's, it's just an expression. Wow, it's so fun going out with a smart guy. Hi, wrote a poem for you. Oh. P is for the way you play guitar. J is for the jokes you tell. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, the hard part was getting it to rhyme, so I did it. Oh, oh I have a gift for you, too. A necklace? Yeah. What's this? It's a piece of churro. It was the last bite of the first snack we ever shared. Oh, that makes me so happy. Now I'm sad. What's wrong? Oh, PJ, you know me so well. Something is wrong. My ex-boyfriend keeps texting me. He wants to get back together. You're wearing my churro. We're at the churro stage. <laughs> Talk to this guy. Set him straight. Would you? Yeah. Who is he? His name's Brock, and he's captain of the wrestling team. He thinks he's so great just because he's undefeated. Huh. So he's never lost a fight, and I've never been in a fight. <laughs> Which I have lots to talk about. See ya. See ya. Man, the hero stage is complicated. No. Hey, uh, Mom, could you sign this, please? Sure, honey. Wait a second. I know that move. She's hiding something. No, I'm not. Then move your hand away. I don't want to. A disciplinary notice? Yes, I knew it! Finally, Lou is perfect at something bad. Okay, Teddy, honey, what did you do? What? Nothing. I just got mad at a teacher because he lowered my grade for not filling in a stupid oval, so I snapped one of his stupid pencils. That's it? I've waited my whole life for that. Say, honey, I'm not hearing that you did anything wrong. But that's because I didn't. Okay, I'll tell you what. Maybe I should go down and have a little talk with this guy. Oh, no, 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 please don't. Why not? Well, because whenever you get involved in stuff like this, you turn into mama bear. Hmm? Is that what you're worried about? Yes. 
Because whenever Mama Bear comes out of her cave, bad things happen. <laughs> yeah, but they're usually entertaining. Teddy, honey, I am more than capable of going down there and having a civilized discussion. Now, who is this teacher? Mr. Piper? Uh -huh. Piper, figures. Yeah, PJ had him. Gave him an F when he clearly deserved a D minus. <laughs> hey, please, just promise me you won't get involved. Okay. It's that important to you, I'll stay out of it. Mama Bear is going into hibernation. <laughs> oh. Great. She forgot to sign this. Here, let me have it. I got her signature date. <laughs> we need to listen. People, people, welcome to Miss Donna's School of Ballet. I'm Miss Donna, and I am passionate about teaching the art of ballet to the next generation of ballerinas. Did I get everyone's check? <laughs> Very good. Now, so the magic can begin, will the parents please exit to the hallway? And there's no peeking in the window. It distracts the children. Um. Miss Donna? Yes. Uh, hi. Bob Duncan? Listen, I promised my wife I'd videotape the class. <laughs> well, I'm sure a giant man with a shiny camera won't distract the children. <laughs> okay, uh, look, if, if I don't get this on tape, I'm in really big trouble. It's not my problem you're afraid of your wife. <laughs> I am not afraid. I just have a very healthy respect. <laughs> To make a duty, please raise your hand. Daddy. No, dear, I said duty. Daddy. Um, Mr. Piper. Hi. I'm Amy Duncan, Teddy's mom. Ah, Teddy Duncan. She's one of my most Students. Right. Um, anyway, I wanted to talk to you about her last quiz. Mrs. Duncan, parents must schedule an appointment for any conference. Right, and I, I'm so sorry, but I'm, I'm here now during my lunch hour, so if you could just make an exception. Oh, let me check over here where I posted the special rules that apply only to you. <laughs> oh, look, they don't exist. <laughs> At any rate, as you can see by my desk, I am far too busy right now. <laughs> Just cleared your schedule. <laughs> hey, Gabe, uh, do me a favor. Listen to this and tell me what you think. What is it? Uh, well, I gotta talk to Skylar's ex boyfriend and tell him to quit bothering her. Okay, let me stop you right there. <laughs> what? Oh, I, I just want to stop you. I'm not interested. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm thinking about saying. Hello, Brock. You don't know me, but I've heard a lot of great things about you. If it isn't too much trouble, could you please maybe stop texting Skyler so much? Are you trying to tell him off or invite him to the prom? Tell him off. Nicely. So he won't get all punchy and hurty on me. Then you've got to be confident. Show him you mean business. Oh, no. What are you afraid of? Well, clowns, spiders, the dog. No, I mean with Brock. He's the captain of the wrestling team. Trust me, all tough guys are the same. You stand up to them, they'll always back down. All right, I'll try it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Brock, this is PJ. Uh, Skylar is my girlfriend now, and I want you to stop bothering her. Uh-huh. Works for me. Okay, bye. He wants to meet after school. <laughs> to do what? I'm guessing homework. He said he was going to teach me a lesson. <laughs> To see me, Prince Robert? Yes, Teddy, have a seat. I uh, want to show you something. Our security cameras caught earlier today. I think you'll find it interesting. <laughs> Can we see what else is on? Here's my favorite part. It's funny that way. I, I don't know what to say. There's good news and bad news. Mr. Piper has agreed not to press charges. 
but your mother is banned from campus. What's the bad news? <laughs> Mr. Piper is demanding an apology. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'll, I'll say sorry to him the next time I see him. Not from you. Oh, there's the bad news. <laughs> You're not going to like this, but Charlie got kicked out of class because I was videotaping, but I'm going to fix it, so please don't yell at me. Okay. Cupcake? Cupcake. That's it? You're not mad? No, not mad. Honey, everybody in this family has to learn to be very forgiving people. <laughs> What'd you do? Nothing. No! I think we're going to find out what nothing means. What's up, sweetie? I just saw the most interesting nature film in school today. Yeah, it was about a mama bear that wandered into a classroom and chased a teacher. <laughs> That's nice, dear Cupcake. No, cupcakes only work on Dad. It's true. Mr. Piper is coming over tomorrow night, and you will apologize to him. Fine. I'll apologize. I guess I got a little bit out of control. No, I don't know why I do it. I just lose it sometimes. Did you see the part where I chased him around the janitor? You have to admit that was a little funny, right? <laughs> Maybe a little. Miss Donna? Executed plie. You have some ballet experience? Oh, uh, it was a long time ago. I don't. Uh, First position. <laughs> Second position. Attitude. <laughs> now give me two grand jetés. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, all right. Very impressive. Thank you, thank you. But really, I'm, I'm here because I'm hoping that you'll let Charlie back in the dance class. Well, I will if you help me with something. I'm doing some choreography for one of my advanced classes. Now, I'm going to do a stag leap into your arms. Lift me high and then release me gently into the floor. You, I, I only have, like, three classes. Oh, boy. Oh. How about the Charlie thing? How are we feeling? What's going on? Okay, so I gave you a little bad advice about Skyler's old boyfriend, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna make up for it. <gasps> you call me a ninja? <laughs> this is Matt, my karate teacher. Oh, how you doing? Hey. Good <laughs> Matt's made me the most feared kid in the third grade. You're in fifth grade? Hey. One credit at a time. Anyway, that's gonna help you win your fight tomorrow. All right, PJ, let's see what you got. Come at me, right? Don't you punch, hit, kick. I, I, I don't want to hurt you. So the point of this suit. You wearing this? Can't feel a thing. Really? Well, then I have a better idea. How you doing? You PJ. You, wait, you're Brock, the captain of the wrestling team? My coach is a 98 pounds of white hot fury. It's for the outfit. It's a self defense suit. Fine by me. Oh, wait. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was it the water break? <laughs> Until I'm done teaching you a lesson. <laughs> Thinks it gets your heart broken. Especially by someone as beautiful and smart as Skylar. Well, beautiful. But you know, fighting never solves anything. Yeah, I really gotta work on my people's skills. You'll find someone else. Plenty of fish in the sea. Well, there's this one other girl I kind of have a crush on. Who? Teddy Duncan. <laughs> do you know her? As a matter of fact, I do. 
and I happen to know she is totally available. <laughs> There's Mr. Piper. Uh, Mom, you promised you'd be good. Mama Bear has been declawed. Open the door. Here we go. Oh, Mr. Piper, come on in. Ah, wonderful. You remember my mom? Every time I close my eyes. <laughs> Wasn't there something you wanted to say to Mr. Piper? I'm sorry. For? <laughs> everything off your desk and chasing you through the hallway wow you screamed like a little girl okay. good enough all right who's hungry oh dad there you are mom why don't you go check on dinner without saying anything else bob duncan peter piper huh? <laughs> you're kidding right nope he's not kidding never has never will so bob what do you do for a living I'm an exterminator. <laughs> the irony. You spend all day getting rid of pests, and then you come home to the biggest one of all. Crudite? You talking about my wife? Crudite? You know, Peter Piper, you're going to be picking your pickled peppers. Dad! Are you threatening me? Oh, this is just the appetizers, people. Let's pace ourselves. Say you're sorry. All right. I'm sorry you married a lunatic. That's it. first ballet recital, and I'm going to get the whole thing on tape. Ooh. That's odd. Some guy named Brock just asked me out. Wonder who he is. <laughs> no idea. It's starting. Welcome, everyone, to Miss Donna's School of Dance. In this performance, the role of Miss Donna will be played by Bob Duncan. <laughs> Without further ado, a flower is born. It was awesome! It was like a monster movie! <laughs> I, I said no videotaping in here! Well, I just have to say really quick, good luck, Charlie! Okay, you ready? I don't know, Dad. Teddy, would you trust me? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've heard those words before. Well, this time... <laughs> this time, I mean... Alright, there we go. Technique. Yes, yes, yes. yes. 